after the the news, and this is kind of leaning into yeah, the, the yeah, merger, wonder, mm-hmm. these people are getting uh, let go. It was mass uh, firings over at Fox yesterday, film division. Right. My friend is an executive over TV division, said they haven't touched them yet, but certainly film division yesterday. But they're offering these people a, a year to two year severance. So That's good. It's a generous severance that you, most people get two weeks. Yeah. Right. So it is a shame that they've lost their jobs, and who knows if they're going to get rehired down the road. But that's the severance package—a year to two years. That's pretty good. It's good. Um, I'm not saying it's good that these jobs are I mean, we don't know how lost. much it is. Right? Here's right. here's the thing that sucks for me on this, and uh, it it started going like wildfire yesterday. Fox 2000 shuttering. Yeah. Right. And these this is a studio that made like Devil Wears Prada. Um, mm-hmm. You know, that's one of the movies. Uh, they they have a next movie. Um, the Art of Racing in the Rain yep. with Kevin Costner is mm-hmm. still happening, thank God, yep. because that is one of the, like, dog lovers everywhere, read that book. It is one of the most beautiful books I've ever read. I probably can't read it for another two years yeah. um, as I'm getting over Cal. Die, I don't want no, that, no, 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 no. It's about, it's about the dog has an inner voice that, okay. um, that like, Basically, it's through the eyes of the dog and his owner, who's a, a race car driver. Mm. And it's just it's a beautiful celebration of a, of a love between a, a, a man and his dog, a woman and his dog, because he is he's the dog is with him through, you know, his career, right. getting a family. It's it's a wonderful book. So anyways, this this movie is still happening. But I think of Devil Wears Prada. I love that movie. Oh, yeah. And some of the other movies, Rook, I don't know if you have any of the other movies for Fox 2000 because yeah, uh, I can't remember off uh, the, the top Fault of my head. Fault in Our Stars. Fault in Our oh, Stars. Oh, God. Love, Simon. <laughs> oh, no, that one wrecked me, man. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah good. A, yes. I thought you were joking. Oh, I'm no, like, I'm a sap. Yeah. No, I mean, don't. Do you, me too. do you cry a lot at movies? Oh, yeah. No, you know what? I cried at recently just last night. Uh, Queer Eye. New season well, of Queer Eye is out, and I, it's it's very heavy handed. But if you if it's another feel good show that like I was talking about Great British Baking Show and about you know this this is just something of just people doing good, and I, I've just I've been taking in a lot of that lately because yeah. I'm trying to boost my spirits and say that the world is good and things are good, and <laughs> I suggest Queer Eye. It's 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 amazing. Queer Eye is, is a is a is a show that kind of restores your faith in humanity. Yeah, oh, yeah. good. Yeah, no, it makes it you out. cry in a happy way. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's just every time it's just like. Well, yep. <laughs> I need I need faith restored because this this is a bummer. This yeah. a shuttering of a studio that put out Love Simon is one that kills mm-hmm. me. Good film. Love Simon was such a fantastic film. As I mentioned, Devil Wears Prada. Yep. These are movies that I love mm-hmm. and that audiences love. Mm-hmm. And now this is what happens. Well, so what's the, you know? Uh, people than, care about the X Men in the MCU, right. and now we're not getting a studio yeah, that's that the thing, like, makes these wonderful movies that are small, that have these uh, exactly. original voices. Exactly. And like, that we, is a fucking bummer. We have enough big budget movies. We do. <laughs> we like we don't need more. I'm I obviously we're all nerds here. We all we all love these movies. We all we all like seeing our heroes on screen. But I also love indie movies. I love movies that have nothing to do with this. Yeah. And 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 also with big budget movies, you have these executives getting involved all the time where they're not letting filmmakers sometimes be as creative as they could. Right. Right. And so that's always when when they, I'm not I'm not trashing on all executives. I think there's some really smart, good ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But but they do sometimes get involved and they have no idea. You know, like they're like, oh, no, please like do this. This is what mm-hmm. I want. And then the movies end up being crappy for, because mm-hmm. of it right yeah. and so that's it's it's it, i don't know you got you got to let creative people do what they what they do well uh, i would counter a little bit in that in that there are crappy independent films too there are crappy yeah. smaller films too so yeah. it's like it's you got six of one half a dozen of the other right and and we don't know what they're going to do. This reaction is a logical reaction, of yeah. course. Like, oh, yeah. this we're the, the hidden fi- hidden figures was them. Hate yeah. you give. Like Pie, Bridge of Spies, so, Bridge Unseen, of spies. Joy. Yeah, a, look at that. There's a lot of them. The in Poltergeist there. remake. You can take that. Piece of shit <laughs> <off> that. <laughs> the Heat was good. Um, but the, the Heat, but right? We don't know what Disney's going to replace it with, and I, I think they'd be remiss not to replace it with some kind of independent arm of themselves they that should might mix the fox and disney aspect or a point of view together i just my only approach. fear is that i don't want same i don't want yeah. every movie like that that's my complaint for that's a lot fair. of these superhero mm-hmm. movies is that they are formulaic mm-hmm. a lot of them yeah, right and so so i don't i don't want to see the same thing every time i go to the theater i want to mm-hmm. be surprised yeah i do too and and these these are movies that you know sure roca they, they some movies can shit the bed and yep. not be very good, but so, yeah. th- this studio is taking the swings. You know, they're mm-hmm. they're swinging for the fences, uh, and a lot of times, and some of them, Alvin and the Chipmunks, whatever. Marley and Me, I love. 
for obvious reasons. Couldn't watch even it. though yeah, <laughs> that movie. I, I can't didn't watch, watch it. it. Why would I watch no, that? No, no. Yeah, you don't like Marlene? Yeah. Well, Why I would I watch it. it though? No, that's like. Uh, oh, sorry. No. no. Yeah. I'm just a dog lover. And, I love yeah, horror, and I love I love seeing people get <laughs> killing each other on, in horror movies. But dogs, nope. Well, yeah, Marley and Me is a, in the shared universe with Pet Cemetery, so you'll like it. It's. Uh, I'm kidding. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it's like a creepy like Marley showing up and like <laughs> yeah, you know, biting in, in a horror movie. Like, yeah, Marley. In, yeah. What if? Mar- <laughs> it's it's the Brightburn Marley. Uh, do, you, you know? do you remember? <laughs> yes, do you remember when that. that movie came out? You threw yeah. and people in were face. so pissed. I remember driving past a billboard that somebody spray painted, the dog dies at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. And I was like, oh, oh shit, they didn't like that. I read the book, so I knew it was going to happen. Yeah, and it's, yeah. it, that's the whole, yeah. Well, I know was that I the one where they got in trouble now, for the, there, there was something with the dog in a, in a river or something? No, that was a dog's purpose. Oh, a dog's a purpose. purpose, okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But anyways, so Fox 2000, it's a bummer. I'm hoping some of the executives there can land on their feet, uh, maybe at other studios, bring that kind of creative culture to another place netflix are you listening um they seem to be doing that because i don't want to miss out on those movies Mm -hmm. you know at least movies that and love simon is a perfect example for me at least Mm -hmm. it's it's a big swing that works Mm -hmm. and especially for a story that love simon was telling we need that and the soundtrack's so good and the soundtrack is so good Mm -hmm. so that's a bummer but um